Hey YouTubers, how's it going? Mike Martin's your Mike Martin channel. Thanks for joining me. I got another housing boom uh, coming to an end article here for Australia for my friends living down under. All the Aussies down there living in Australia. Thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Housing boom coming to an end and there's a catch for first time home buyers. It's by Greg Jericho. Jericho has been writing some pretty decent uh, Australian housing uh, articles that I have read here on my channel. Let's take a look at what this says. I'll leave a link below if you guys need to uh, refer to it because my my um, reading is poor. So and the article is long, so I won't read it all. the uh, The latest housing finance figures reveal that the housing boom might be coming to an end as investors disappear from the market. But it appears that the market will need to cool for a while before the first home buyer will be able to return in force. So basically, instead of saying first home to buyer, they should say Australian proper. It's a proper way to say it because there's a lot of Australian proper that are waiting on the sidelines for almost a decade now to buy their first home. And a lot of them that were in their 20s are in their 30s now. A lot of them that were in their 30s are in their 40s now. And a lot of them that were in their 40s are in their 50s now. Figures released this week by Bureau of Statistics reveal that over the past six months, the growth of housing finance has stalled. The drop-off in the growth of housing finance was rather sudden. After going backwards during 2015, housing finance grew strongly in 2016, reaching a peak uh, monthly growth in October of 1.6%. But in the first six months of this year, housing finance has never grown more than 1% in any month. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's below inflation levels now. The main reason for the slow, uh, slowing has been the retreat for, of, of the investors of the housing market. Yes, remember guys, China put a lot a lot of um, measures into place. I don't know if you guys remember. China put a lot of measures into place and uh, it's showing here uh, what's going on. Uh, a lot of money is not getting out of China anymore because there was a runoff on the, on the Chinese wealth was just running out of the country. In December last year, investors accounted for 49.3% of all housing finance by June. This had fallen just 45.8%. So there you go. In the first six months of, of this year, the value of investor housing fell 6%. That's huge. Trust me, that's just the tip of the iceberg because houses in Australia are beyond but the market has fallen hard. The signs that there are hope for soft landing is occurring with investor finances has fallen and the value of uh, value of owner occupier finance continue to grow up 7% in the first half of this year. Sorry guys, there's people calling me while I'm trying to make this video. The slowing housing finance clear the sign of housing market itself should begin to cool. There is quite solid link between the, the annual growth of finance and the growth of house prices in the last six months. So guys, what is this trying to tell you? Markets are going down. Markets are crashing. The Chinese are backing out. No one's parking their money in Australia anymore. It's getting too expensive. It's getting too risky. It's a long article and uh, it goes into New South Wales. It goes into all different, uh, different types of mortgages that have been taken out. It's a really, really good article. I wanted to share it with you guys. I'll leave a link below. Please take your time to take a look at this if you're living down under. If you're living anywhere else in the English-speaking world, this is a lesson for everybody. No one no one took the lesson from Vancouver, and look what's happening to Seattle today. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Is this happening in your area? Let us know. Is there a housing crunch or a housing fall or a housing crash because I think the bottom's falling out of the housing market. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Thank you.